being asked to practice something called social distancing. So that means not just avoiding crowds, but actually keeping some space between yourself and other people. Q13's Hannah Kim shows us what could be at stake if we don't. I truly believe that this outbreak may be one of the most transformative and consequential events that we've had in this region and in this country. Dr. Jeff Duchin with King County Public Health using this chart to show us why social distancing is our only hope. And the blue line shows what will happen if we don't implement any social distancing or community mitigation measures. If we continue to live life as normal, the state says we could expect 60,000 cases of COVID-19 by May. As of today, we have more than 360 confirmed cases in Washington. This is a very serious disease. Okay, killing 10 times as many people as annual influenza outbreak is a very significant impact. Governor Inslee also emphasizing that we can no longer compare COVID-19 to the flu, reading a text message he obtained from a person in Italy. Stop saying it's just flu or severe flu. Please come and see our intensive care units in northern Italy. People can't breathe and we don't have where to put them. Regardless of what we do, the healthcare system will be very stressed. The actions we take now can lessen the pressure on the system. That was Hannah Kim reporting. In the meantime, lawmakers in Olympia have announced a